Every now and then we talk about men, we talk about the things that men go through, we talk about how they have been raised or not raised, we talk about how men do not talk about the things that they go through and that men need a safe space within which to speak. And there's more and more conversation around the issues that affect men. So this week on Wisdom Moments on K24 with me, CJ Atemo, we have taken the, the time and the opportunity to just bring out some of the battles that men face. I talked about battle for identity, the battle for acceptance. Today, I'll be talking about the battle for significance. Is there any man around you that you know that needs to be watching? Please holler at them, get them to watch, tune in right now. And if they're not able to, well, this is why you need to subscribe to CJ Atemo on YouTube because later on then you can watch it with them, uh, post your comments, like, and even share. Share in the various groups that you are in. Ask your friends and your neighbors, your fathers, your boyfriends, your husbands, your sons to subscribe as well because this whole series is coming on up over there on YouTube, CJ Atemo. So set the notifications as well so that every time we upload uh, the videos, you get to know. And as I said, watch, like, post a comment and share, engage with me right there. If there's anything that you would like to know, something that you'd want me to handle, something that you would want to have clarification about, or you just want to connect, head over to Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and on LinkedIn, because you will find me there as CJ Temo all across the platforms. For those who would want to do mail, it's cjatsol at gmail.com. Well, so I said every man has a battle for identity, and I say that every man, um, most men will identify themselves through their position, their position, their power, and their performance. And that identity aspect in the battles that men face shapes the rest of them, because that is what exactly actually shapes even the battle for acceptance, and even the one we want to talk about today, the battle for significance. I wrote a book called Lions and Cake, which you can also check out uh, on my social media platforms. I wrote a book called Lions and Cake. And one of the things about the lion is that they love to mark territory. They want to mark territory so that no other lion will come within the territory that a lion has marked. And what they do is that they will use the urine to mark the territory so anytime the other lion will come in and smell the urine, he will know that, that territory is marked. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the matter of significance, importance. It's about his lion feeling that he's a king in a territory. No matter how low, how broke, how small a man is, he wants to feel like he's got a kingdom. There's just an innate thing in a man to battle for significance. He wants to know that he can take territory he wants to know that he can take charge. He wants to know that he can take care as well. He wants to know that he is the man in a certain space. This is why the, a man will rarely want to share, and I'm just processing my thoughts very quickly. A man will not want to share a woman with another man because for him, it's the element of marked territory. Before you stone me and say, well, no woman wants to share a man with the other woman, we are talking about men. When we talk about ladies, we'll talk about their behavior and their conduct as well. I'm not saying that women would love to share. I'm just saying that this element of significance will make a man not just want to do that. The conversations that they will have, if a man will have another man in the picture, he will either overreact or he will leave. See, women can handle that somehow. Uh, they can come in, make noise, create the chaos, or have discussions and then make up their mind whether they will stay or they will leave. That's very difficult for a man. Why? Because of the element of significance. Most men will feel that they are insignificant if there's somebody else within their territory. Now this talking from a relationship perspective, they will feel that they are less significant. They begin to ask themselves whether they were not meeting the needs. So you'll hear, for example, when there's a breakup, and especially when it is younger people, you'll hear something like, the lady left me to go to somebody who had more money. They're beginning to feel insignificant. They're beginning to feel that the other person beat them either in performance, position, power, or position. So they feel that there has to have been something else with the other man 
that made the lady leave. They will never think probably it is a personality thing. They will not think that maybe because, you know, they were getting toxic, you know, they're always angry or they're lying or they've got certain things that they need to work on. Uh, they don't respect the lady or they don't pay attention. They won't really think about that. They'll always think there's somebody else who is doing better. And so if she's dressing better, then it must be somebody else is taking care of her or she wanted a high life and I wasn't ready to do that or they didn't want to grow with us. Have you ever heard people talk about, you know, there are no lady ladies don't want hustlers and all those kind of stuff. That low self-esteem comes from the battle for significance that most men have. I know that there are women who have married men who did not have much and they have grown with them. And I know that there are ladies who have started up with people who didn't have much and they grew with them. So I do not believe that women are just after money. Well, I know that times have really changed and uh, things are really very different. But then, generally, a woman can still be with a man that she feels is a man. You know, it doesn't have to be about the money. It's how the man treats her and makes her feel. But for most men, their significance comes from the things that they have, the places they have gone, the power that they have. So this makes men become very competitive, even with each other. The battle for significance makes men become very, very competitive. And sometimes that competitiveness works against their mental health because you just keep on feeling like you have to be the king within your territory. And you feel that for you to be the king, you need to have more money, you need to have more trophies, you need to behave in a certain way. Well, it's not always like that. Your presence alone is significant. If you are a father, for example, and you do not have a job right now, uh, you've got to stay home or you have flexible working hours, do you know that your presence in your child's life alone is significant enough? You may not be significant to everybody else out there, but you will be significant in your own house. You have to also define what territory are you trying to mark. We cannot all come out over here and try to be celebrities. We can't all impress everybody in the world. We will not always have a million to five million followers. But if you can affect one life, if you can be the father for you, to your children that they desire you to be, then you have made a significant mark. You'll never get to know who they will be in the future. Because sometimes while we're looking for the big things, we are missing out on the opportunities to do the small things that will have the greater impact. Significance is not in size. It is an impact. Significance is not in size. It is an impact. So probably your significance is in the fact that you made somebody find their dreams or their purpose. You are a father to somebody. Or your significance is just the manager you are in the office or not even the manager. You could even be the gate man. But when you're not there, everybody misses you because you carry a personality. There is this aspect of your uniqueness that you bring to that particular place. If you understand your uniqueness, then you do not have to struggle and fight for the element of significance. You don't have to politic anywhere, either at work or at home. You don't have to fight for space. You don't have to fight for recognition because just you and your unique gifts and purposes are significant enough. Don't let anybody draw you into the rat race because even when you win, you still remain to be a rat. Well, this has been CJ Temo on Wisdom Moments on K24.